Number 4, Sam 3 and 40 and Ryzen makes the entrance later this year. It turns out AMD got three more CPUs they're planning to launch, all based on Sam 2, and AMD planning to show these on June 16, which turns out to be the very same date as the B550 motherboard launch. And before we getting too excited, although this is exciting, these are not Ryzen 4000 CPUs. No, it turns out they're calling it Matisse Refresh. Now, the models in question are called 3600XT, 3800XT as well as 3900XT and they are meant to counter Intel's recent Comet Lake S CPUs such as the new 10700K Core i7 and Core i9 10900K models. In this video we're gonna cover everything you need to know about these brand new processors actually coming out very soon and if you stick around till the end of the video I'm gonna leave you with a nice surprise that I think most of you will appreciate especially if you're planning to build or upgrade your gaming PC. But with that said, let's talk Ryzen XT. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to Arbin Hardware. My name is Robin. I'm your Swedish host and friend. In case you only clicked on this video for a specific part, you find time codes and all that good stuff listed in the video description. Alright, so this leak kind of started with a Twitter profile called HXL. I'm tweeting this. Two new Ryzen processors, possibly named 3750X and 3850X. And this quickly started rumors around AMD planning additional 3rd gen Ryzen processors to essentially counter and close the gap to Intel's newly launched uh, Comet Lake S processors. Well, a few moments later, rumors of a possible Matisse refresh gained even more traction when WCCF tech editor Hassan Mutaba tweeted a slide from Gigabyte's AMD's B550 motherboard series pre-launch presentation. As we can see from this image, guys, Gigabyte lists out every CPU for the AIM4 platform basically and right next to Matisse, look, we find Refresh basically confirming that Matisse Refresh is in fact real, meaning that AMD is in fact planning to release additional CPUs to the 3rd gen Ryzen family before they make the move to 4th gen Ryzen. Now I do think it is important to emphasize what this Refresh name actually means and Tech Power Up is making it pretty clear. The word Refresh doesn't have to mean any physical changes to the processor design, you know, core count or architecture and can sometimes even indicate something as simple as a second major wave of processors basically that eventually replace the existing all the processors on the market that all being said in this particular case i believe we are looking at a cpus or processors gonna be clocked higher than the original models and this begs the question how much more performance are we talking well currently because we haven't seen any leaked benchmarks yet we still aren't 100 sure that being said according to wccf tech all three CPUs will feature high clock speeds and enhanced overclock support. According to their sources, they also suggest that the boost algorithms have been optimized by AMD and this could result in performance increase of 5 to 10% stand against the older siblings. And in terms of clock speeds, based on this information, suggest we're looking at 200 to perhaps 300 megahertz increase on each of the CPUs, which wouldn't be a totally unreasonable. But what do you think? Please let us know in the comments below. Now, the tech site Tech Power Up also believes that AMD is likely to give the processors a bump in clock speed to make them perform even better in gaming benchmarks. But maybe even more importantly, AMD could fine tune precision boost overdrive to increase the performance even further, and that would definitely result in better gaming performance, which again makes sense in this case. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. As for specifications, for the 3rd gen refresh, video card has actually put together a very nice looking shot that I thought would be very interesting having a look at. So the rumors points to the design, architecture and core and thread count being the same as the older Ryzen siblings where the difference would be higher clock speeds. So how much are we specifically talking? Well currently we don't know but considering Sun 2 can do 3.9 GHz base and 4.6 turbo, it would make sense if the Ryzen 3 3600 XT lands between the 3700 and the 3600 X. Given that the 3700 X has a base clock of 3.6 and a boost of 4.4, while the 3600 has a base of 3.8 and a boost of 4.4, makes me want to believe that we're gonna see the 3600 XT hitting at least 3.9 base and 4.5 boost. 
maybe, but possibly even higher of course, while the 3800 XT could see a base of 4 GHz and a boost of 4.6, possibly 4.7, which makes me wonder, have we ever seen Sand 2 reaching 4.7 before? Yes, in fact it turns out that the 3950X does 4.7, that said we have never seen a Sand 2 based CPU targeting 4 GHz as a base clock, and we never seen a 30 Ryzen boosting to 4.8 GHz hertz either which makes me wonder can sand 2 possibly hit 4.8 gigahertz and what about the 3900 xt considering that the original 3900 x has a 3.8 base and 4.6 boost respectively can we possibly see 4 gigahertz base clock here maybe now something to not forget is that these are bin ships so so i wouldn't say any of this would be impossible question is in terms of the silicon lottery how many of let's say one 100 ships would be good enough to hit these clock speeds. What core frequencies can we expect on these processors? Share your thoughts in the comments below. As for pricing, according to WCCF Tech, AMD will eventually sell these to the same MSRP as their older brothers. So in other words, expect something like 249 for the 3600 XT, 399 for the 3800 XT, and 499 for the upcoming 3900 XT. As for launch or release date, we're looking at June. 16th and they should be available to purchase on June 17th. Alright so I promise you guys something at the end of the video. As AMD starts uh, planning to launch these CPUs they're also slashing the prices on pretty much the whole 3rd gen Ryzen family according to these leaks and it turns out the price cuts has actually made it through on some models where the 3900 can be found for just above $400. Anyway I decided to save you a bit of time by linking up some of the best deals down below. And while that does it for today's video, what do you think about 3rd gen Ryzen refresh? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I watched either of these two videos and I will see you guys in the next video.